Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples. Today, we're going to be looking at average. So let's dive right in. The average is the addition of all of the numbers in a sequence divided by the number of numbers in that sequence. Let's take a look at an example. If we had 10 plus 20 plus 30, and then we divided that by 3, that would give us the average. And that, of course, equals 20. So the average of 10 plus 20 plus 30 is equal to 20. So the result of this is 60 divided by 3. So how do we calculate this with a collection? Well, let's start with an array. Data equals, let's do 10, 20, 30. And then we're going to collect data and call average on it. And we get the exact same result. All right, let's go to step two. Let's change our array to each be an array containing a field called price, 10,000. Let's change this to 20,000. Change this to 30,000. So now we can pass in a string, price. Let's take a look at our result and we get 20,000. The addition of each of these fields equals 60,000 divided by three gives us 20,000. Let's jump into a more advanced example. So let's add another field here called tax and each one will say 500. Let's go ahead and modify this to 700 and finally 900. What if I wanted to find the average of the addition of price and tax? in which case I can actually pass in a closure. So function value, and here I can return value price plus value tax. Let's take a look at the results, and there we go, 20,700. So we are actually combining price and tax and then averaging on that. For an even more advanced example, let's add one more field here and let's call it active. Let's assume we have a column that may make a field active or not active. So let's say false here. So now we know that only two of these entries are active. So how can we do that? If you return null, it would be ignored. So let's say something like if value is not active, right? Because we negated that. Then we're going to return null. Otherwise, we're going to return the addition of value price plus value tax. Let's take a look at the results. And we get 20,700. Let's turn another one of these off and see what we get. 30,900. And finally, let's turn them all off and let's see what happens. So obviously it returns nothing. There's nothing there. Let's turn just one back on, true, and we get 20,700. So there you go, that's average.